Guys, stop pre-ordering San Diego Comic-Con 2022 Funko Pops for crazy prices. Let's check it out. You know, these Funko News videos constantly have me surfing the internet to keep you guys as updated as possible on the news, which brings us into today's video sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is a gaming-themed web browser with a lot of cool perks. A great feature about this web browser is the customization of themes, wallpapers, and colors. You can even switch from light and dark mode. Very simple, ultraviolet, GX classic. More importantly, I do want to focus on the wallpapers. Let's search Naruto, for example, because I know you guys love that. Naruto Swing Rain, that looks really cool add to opera it installs super quick and there's your background now of course you would want to watch your favorite youtuber skittle rampage and shop for funko pops at the same time so they have this really cool feature where you can pop out your video move it wherever you want and shop for funko pops if you love listening to music there's a media tab right here where you can listen to your favorite music a really cool thing is if you press play here and then oh wait your favorite youtuber uploaded you click that and it actually mutes the music. Need to import your history bookmarking cookies? Well, it's super easy. Click settings, scroll all the way down until you get to synchronization. Click import bookmark and settings. Make sure to click the web browser that you need to import from. Click import and you're all done. And of course, the best thing about this web browser is that it's completely free to download. So make sure to use my specialized link down below in my description and download Opera GX today. Hey guys, today I do have quite a few things that I do want to talk about. Like we do have some first looks at some of the brand new San Diego Comic-Con exclusives directly from Funko's live stream, as well as we do have a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people pre-ordering Comic-Con Funko Pops right now for insane prices. Like some of these prices, you guys are just going to be like, oh my God. And we do have a couple other updates that I do want to share with you guys so let's jump into it now firstly we do have our San Diego comic-con situation here so as you guys do know usually every year a lot of people end up doing this where they look for a way to pre-order these exclusives so it's a little bit easier and they don't have to actually go to the event or they don't have to go out and deal with lines in the stores and some people are willing to pay a little bit more to avoid this however some of the prices people are paying for some of these doesn't even make any sense on top of the fact that I cannot stress enough that you should not pre-order official Comic-Con stickers, especially when it's only available at the event, and, and they're limiting them to one per person, okay? So these sellers couldn't possibly get multiple unless they have multiple different people or multiple friends in line going to get these at the event. And if you don't know by now, Funko is extremely unpredictable. We have no idea what stock they're going to even have at the event. Let's take Star Wars Celebration, the last event we just had, for example. They didn't even have the five pack as well as uh, one other exclusive. I think it was one of the sodas they did not have um, on hand at the actual event. So a lot of people couldn't buy it there and we had to wait a little bit later. So that's just one of the many issues that Funko runs into um, at these events is that they can't get all of their stock on time. And trust me, I fully expect them to not have everything at this event. Let's not get this confused though. I fully expect some of these to be this expensive later on with their official stickers, however, Give it a chance to actually get there. Don't pre-sale it at that price, thus raising the prices already for everybody else. And what I mean by that is when you're pre-selling these exclusives and then you're pre-buying these exclusives, it throws in like sales data to Pop Price Guide already. So for example, um, if we take a look at this $299.99 Inmu Funko Pop that somebody purchased this pre-order for the official con sticker, Basically, the con sticker price is going to start out somewhere around there if more people buy it around that price. And this $300 price tag is a really good prime example of something you should not do before the event because these sellers in no way can guarantee this unless they have a backdoor directly to Funko, unless they're like a vendor kind of like, uh, oh, what's their name? You guys know who I'm talking about, who always gets the con stickers, everything like that a little bit early. Uh, Gemini Toys, I think, unless you're someone like them who gets something early like that from Funko, or separate stock from the event, usually you can't actually guarantee the fact that you're going to be able to deliver on these. So if you ever see that their listings are like 30 days out, six days, 60 days out, in the fine print, they'll say they'll refund you on the off chance they're not able to secure it. What is the point at that point at actually paying $300 for this official sticker 
if you don't even have it secured. And I do want to let you guys know that I'm speaking from experience here. Back in 2018, I did actually purchase my first like pre-order official sticker pop because I wanted the official sticker on the Odin Force Thor pop from Ragnarok that did release that year. And I think I paid like 60 or 70 bucks for it, maybe, maybe around 50, 60, something like that. Um, and basically it had in the listing that it wasn't guaranteed, but there's a possibility that, you know, they may cancel my order. And I was like, okay, it's fine or whatever. So basically, by the time the con came around, I was like looking forward to my order. I was like, yes, maybe maybe it's possible they secured me one. And they randomly canceled my order. I was like, oh, okay. But something I noticed over on eBay as well, and this is just speculation, maybe they just couldn't actually obtain it. But I noticed that the official sticker was going for a lot more than they actually sold it for. And they told me if they don't get it, then they can uh, just, they'll cancel my order and give me my money back. So it's very possible they canceled my order and then resold it for even more. Maybe, you know, at the event, maybe online on their eBay web store or whatever. So these are just issues that you run into with pre-ordering Comic-Con Pops or pre-ordering anything that's not officially released yet. And here's two more examples. We do have the Demogorgon here, the Pop and Bag Combo, as well as Super Sonic there. $250 and almost $400 for that Bag Combo. Again, guys, I fully expect the official stickers to get to these prices at this point, but when they start out at that point, Again, it's inflated values that make it a lot harder for anybody who wants to actually purchase the official sticker right off the bat. Here's another really good example of a sale that I did not fully understand. We do have Inmu here at $99.99. Basically, somebody paid $100 plus, they couldn't even give them free shipping, plus $12 shipping on this exclusive. You paid $100 for the shared sticker that's going to Hot Topic when most likely that day of, they're going to have like 50 to 60. Of those usually that's what happens and it does look like Funko is actually on schedule for this because we already saw in Moo that we're gonna show later on they have the stock basically so the store should have the stock but it's also gonna be available on Hot Topics website so you have two chances outside of the con to actually get this one so I don't understand paying hundred dollars for the shared sticker that's gonna be a lot cheaper than the official sticker. That was a little weird to me. All in all, I just wanna pre-warn you guys of the lesson that I had to learn to not do this because you can get the shared sticker fairly easy, I wanna say, as long as you get up a little bit early and just put a little bit more work into it. But if you have the disposable income, that's completely up to you. You know, you're gonna spend your money however you want. I'm not here to tell you how to spend your money. I'm just kind of give you a warning as to what happens to Pop's values and why they get more expensive later on. They get inflated because of things like this. Now that's everything that I have to say on that topic. Again, I don't see the point in pre-ordering a Comic-Con exclusive pop if somebody can't actually guarantee it for you. It makes no sense to me, but that's just me. Let me know down below how you feel and your thoughts on this situation. Next up, I did want to show you some in-person looks at some of the brand new San Diego Comic-Con exclusives. Firstly, we do have the Penguin here, and it actually looks really good out of box, to be honest. It's kind of funny. You can see her hair in the background, the other blonde in the live stream, and it looks like Penguin is, his hair is flowing in the wind. That's kind of funny. Anyways, though, this is a really cool pop ride from Batman Returns in the Duck. Um, I think it looks really nice to be honest. So this one turned out really, really well. Uh, then we also do have the Toucan here, which is Funko's mascot essentially. I think it turned out really well. I know Captain Pop's going to absolutely love that one. Another one we did have was America Chavez here um, using her star power there. You have the portal behind her. That looks really cool to be honest. Like I like how they did it. I would have loved to see kind of like something in the middle to make it like a little bit translucent or like a material in the middle uh, to give it like that portal vibe. Outside of that, it just kind of looks like a star kind of forming together in the middle, which still, I think it looks really nice. And then she's in the punching action pose. And next up, we do have Ted Lasso here. So again, pretty simplistic pop with this one, but a lot of people are really excited about it. And uh, I think it does look really good. And lastly, I did want to show you guys an in-person look at Inmu here. This looks really good. So the top of the hand for this demon, I believe, has the mouth. And so a lot of people are wondering, does it have that little detail? So I'm genuinely curious myself. So when I get the pop in hand, we'll flip it over and I'll show you guys, or I'm sure somebody will provide pictures by then. Next up, Funko did announce a brand new Funko Shop exclusive today, and we do have the Golden Bell here from the Disney Princess line here. It actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Like, Belle is probably one of Bailey's favorite Disney princesses here. This is a pop and pin set. No word on the release date just yet, but I think it does look really, really cool to be honest. So it's going to be a great addition to her set. Now, the other day, if you missed it, Funko Soda Collectors, Funko did tease their brand new social media Freddy soda here, and it does look pretty cool. So the blue shirt is the chase on top of the can there, and I think this one's around 2,000 to 2,500 pieces. So very, very limited on this piece. A lot of people are going to go crazy for this. Uh, those other uh, Freddy Funko, like the social media like Freddy Funko Pops, 
They go for around $300 each, so I'm not surprised if this one's gonna go even higher than that or somewhere around that price. Another announcement today, we did get the fifth piece in the Guardians of the Galaxy ship set here. We did get Rocket here. Again, these are all Walmart exclusives. This one's currently available for pre-order if you do wanna pick it up. I'll drop the link down below for you guys. And after this one, it just leaves one more character, which is Groot, to complete this entire set. Financially speaking, it's a little bit expensive to complete this because they're all like pop deluxe style pops, but outside of that, I think it makes for a really cool moment. Shared from Bully Boy Collectibles, we do have an out-of-box and in-box look at the brand new Remy Deluxe Pop here. Good lord, that is tiny in that box. What are they doing? That definitely could have been like smaller. It didn't need to be a deluxe. This is still a great affordable way to get a Remy Pop if you were not able to because obviously we do have the Chase being pretty expensive and then we do also have I think the regular is expensive too and then you have the Funko Shop exclusive diamond one that's expensive with the bag so they're all pretty expensive. This is probably going to be the most affordable option and it's a really cool mold. Now lastly I did want to remind you guys that Hanako should be dropping tomorrow on the 21st. All Hot Topic locations have had their stock for a very long time at least at the very least least two months now so they should be dropping this tomorrow I have not heard any delays in that release date we'll see what happens come tomorrow I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna say it's like fully happening 100% but it is supposed to happen just so you guys know now if you're wondering about an online drop it's very possible we could maybe see a drop tonight because sometimes they do drop it the day before the release date so it's possible we could see like a midnight drop or something like that I don't know that for sure I'm just kind of mentioning it because I know somebody's gonna ask um, so when I, if I get any information or confirmation on that Make sure to be following me on Instagram. I'll update you guys there. Outside of that, though, again, this one should be dropping in stores tomorrow. That was the release date that we shared a while back. I really hope it does because so many people are looking forward to this. Well, guys, that's everything for this video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot. If you guys are enjoying the videos as well and you're new here, make sure to click that subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. We're trying to reach 100K here to get our first YouTube play button. So please do help me reach my goal by subscribing today. Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the patrons supporters of the channel. You guys are truly awesome. Seriously, thank you guys so much. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord as well that we share a lot of information in. We share updates. We share restock links. All kinds of different perks to that. And it's a great community with a lot of great people that you can meet. A lot of friends you can make as well. So check that out. It's literally, it's two bucks to join if you want. And you get a lot of really cool perks. Also, guys, I do want to let you guys know we do have a Facebook group with over 13,000 members and nearing 14,000 members, which is just crazy. So check out that down below. That's free to join, as well as make sure to be following me on all my social medias for more updates. All right. Love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.